there is so much about the fight for human rights that requires us to remember that we are not alone. Because it is a very, um, it is a, it is, it requires movements. It requires working against systems that have been designed in many situations um, to, to neglect, if not be more affirmative in overlooking or even attacking human rights. So when I think about the fight for human rights, I think about it in the context of what it requires for the fighters. And one of the things it requires is that you remember you are not alone. And when I spoke with the leaders backstage that I spoke with, that was one of the points that I made and that we discussed. Because fighting for human rights means, one, obviously starting with a recognition um, where there are violations of human rights. That means seeing some of the worst of human behaviors. That means understanding and seeing what suffering looks like, what pain looks like, what unfairness looks like. And for someone and anyone who has a level of empathy and understanding about that, um, it requires a great level of endurance to stick with it. If you care about it and you understand what it means. So I start by saying, remember, you are not alone, and it matters. And then we have to also talk about it in the context of understanding. We talked about, for example, the universality of, of human rights. Human rights are not, they are, they are rights. You know, in the United States, we talk about inalienable rights, God-given rights. And I think it's important to start from a perspective of knowing, not just believing, but knowing. You're born with rights. You're born with these rights. You're not asking someone to do you the favor through the benevolence of their existence to grant you these rights. They are your rights, God-given. And I think it's always important to remember that in the fight for human rights. And then to remember, therefore, there is a universality about those rights. So we will not measure the, the, the rights that people have, the human rights, based on cultures or nations, but based on universal principles. 